What's up, insiders? Today, we're going to be going over another item from Vaporesso. We're talking about their brand new pod stick. Is it a pod or is it a stick mod? Let's cut down low and make sure you stick around to the end because we got a giveaway on this one. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. Check that thing out right off the bat, man. I'm kind of digging that. Nice color. A little bit of Vaporesso branding over here. Here is your battery meter right there that we'll go over in more detail in a second. Nothing much going on. A little bit more Vaporesso branding over here. Wanted to give you a quick little size comparison. Of course, this is the Pod Stick by Vaporesso. Here is the CKS Junior, and there is the Lost Vape Orion Q. You can see it's much slimmer, much taller than both the mods that I'm comparing it to, about the same width, all right? Definitely feels like an easier carry, definitely more pocketable than the other two. The Lost Vape Orion is definitely heavier in the hand. This one is lighter and slimmer. You can see though, it's just a little bit taller if you include the drip tip, all right? So just so you have some reference, that's it right there. On the bottom, we have a micro USB port. I'm not too crazy about having that thing on the bottom, even though it's a pod. They had plenty of real estate all over where they could have put it. Not crazy about that. I like that raised fire button. That's definitely nice, okay? Nice and clicky, I do like that. Simple lighting system for your battery life that like, like I said, we'll go over in more detail. Pull the pod out. Inside, you're gonna see two gold-plated pins and a magnet right there. All right, you can only put the pod in one way. You can see the way the cut is shaped that the pod will only go in one way. There's some sample over there, as you can see. All right, let's go over the pod real quick. The pod has these stickers on the bottom that I'm gonna leave on because it keeps you from firing it, and I am gonna give this one away. Ah, I wish this thing wasn't, as, wasn't that dark, man. I wish it was a little lighter, I really do. Not crazy about that at all. Now the coil in here, is not removable you cannot swap it out it comes pre-installed with the 1.3 ohm c-cell coil which is good for 7 to 12 and a half watts they also give you a second pod which is a 0.6 ohm mesh coil good for 16 to 22 watts all right pretty basic stuff here like i said the drip tips not removable it does seem like a 510 sort of shape to it it is comfortable all right, and that's it, man. There's really not a lot to go over on this thing. It's just a kit with a pre-installed pod. Now, one key feature of this pod system or pod stick, whatever you want to call it, is it does have a slider top cap, which is kind of interesting. Check it out. You just pop it open like that, and it's got some nice resistance to it. It really does. Like, I would have no problem putting this in my pocket because, number one, I don't feel like the top's going to pop off. And the other reason I'd have no problem putting it in my pocket is because it's got a valve here. See that valve? You take your little bottle and you push down on it to fill. You push and squeeze, right? Even if this opens up, no juice is going to come out of there without that valve being pushed. So that's an awesome job by Vaporesso. I mean, that's ingenious. We've seen it before. I've never seen it on like a pod stick before. So that's pretty ingenious. Pretty innovative, well thought out. Kudos to Vaporesso on that little valve system. It solves the problem of having this come open and leak into your pocket. Really nice job. Now let me show you the one I've been using. See the lights there? You got five lights. Each light represents 20% in battery life. So right now I'm at 80%, okay? See the light there, the red light? Okay, that's your settings. Three clicks, you go to the green light. Three clicks, you go to the blue light. Three clicks, you go to the red light. That's the whole menu system. The lights on the button represent low, medium, and high. The red is low, the blue is medium, and the green is high. Also included in the kit, you get a pod stick user manual, a warranty card, this is your 0.6 ohm pod. I'm not gonna take it out of the package because it's the same exact pod as the one I just showed you, just with a different coil in it. Okay, and like I said, I wanna give this one away. 
you get a QR code card, you get a rather nice micro USB cable for charging, and you get a little bottle here to carry some liquid in so you can refill. Let me give you one last look at it all put together. This is the silver one that I've been using. And there is the blue one that I'm going to give away. All right, insiders, let's go over the cons and the pros. First con's gonna be, man, I really wish they would have made this with a replaceable coil instead of a replaceable pod. I would have liked to have seen that. I think they had enough room in there to do that. I really do. I would have liked to have seen them design it that way. Again, it's got that fixed drip tip. Mm -hmm. I wish they would have made it a 510 drip tip. It's comfortable. I just like using my own sometimes. It's a bit of a cool vape. Mm -hmm. It's not as cool as some other pods, but it's definitely on the cool side. I would have liked some more heat in the vape, especially on something of this size. I got to admit, I love the mesh coil. I'm not a fan of the C-cell coil. I mm -hmm. never have been. I'm not a fan of ceramic in general. I'm just not convinced you get good flavor on it in general. The pod, the part where you put your juice in, definitely too dark. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why these companies keep making dark pods. I want to be able to see my juice level without holding it up to the light. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, man. Just make them lighter. And the last con is going to be no adjustable airflow mm -hmm. on this one. That's a con. But that's it on the con. Some nitpicky stuff as usual. Let's move on to the pros. First pro is going to be, man, this thing's got nice build quality. I haven't had any issues with it. It's slim. It's pocketable. It's a very easy carry. You can easily put this in an inside jacket pocket, front or back jeans pocket. You can throw it in a bag. You're good to go. Three power modes. I like that. I love, love, love that push to fill system where it's got that little valve that you got to push in. Awesome, awesome job on that. Really easy. You don't make a mess. It's just fantastic. It's got a decent capacity. It vapes well and you get nice flavor and clouds. I've been running both Nick salts and Freebase juice in it. If I run Freebase, I double up my Nick to six. Right now I got a 30 milligram Nick salt in it. Let me show you what we're working with here. Nice, fully saturated flavor. I wish it had a little bit more heat, but it's nice flavor and nice clouds for what it is. That was at the highest setting, by the way. It's got a smooth, loose mount to lung drawer that you can almost DL hit without slipping it. But if you really want to DL hit it, you kind of got to slip it a little bit. I like the form factor. It's a nice form factor. It's got a nice clicky fire button and staying on the fire button theme. When you hit that button, this thing ramps up immediately. It does fire fast. That's a pro. So that's it, insiders. Those are my cons and pros. Let's talk about this one just a little bit. I gotta say, I do like this pod system. It's a, it's built well. It's a nice, you know, vape. You get good flavor and clouds. It is a little bit on the cool side, but it's not as cool as most of the other pods out there. You know, it, it, it's pocketable. It's an easy carry. The bottom line is you could do worse with a pod system. This is probably a little better than average. The other nice thing about it is you'll get through most of the day with this pod system if it's your only device. Let's talk about some of the specs on the Vaporesso pod stick. The pod stick measures in at 111 by 22 by 18 millimeters. It has a push to fill top cap. It has three power modes and an LED battery indicator. Two pods are included in the kit, a 1.3 ohm C-cell pod, good for nine to 12 and a half watts, and a 0.6 ohm mesh pod, good for 17 to 22 watts. It has Vaporesso's Omni board in it. It has a two ML capacity with a 900 milliamp hour battery. One amp charging is on board. It's available in silver, black, blue, gold, phantom, and splash. I hope you didn't go anywhere, insiders, because we got a giveaway on this one. That blue one that you saw me use in the video, we're going to be giving that one away because I don't need two. In order to participate in this giveaway, you have to be a subscriber of the channel. You have to like this video and go on over to our Facebook group page. Join up over there. Find the post, the official post where I post this review and make a comment in that post and you'll be automatically entered. You gotta be of vaping age in the state of which you reside in and you gotta be able to prove it to me. Also, 
$8 shipping is going to be on you. Thanks for watching the video, insiders. Definitely appreciate it. Remember, we're not a monetized channel, so we'd appreciate it if you check out our new merch store. You can get my tagline on a shirt like you see me wearing, or you can get it on a hoodie as well. We have some other great designs that you can put on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Here's another one of them, Vape King shirt. And here's one of my personal favorites, Vape So Hard, the FDA Wanna Find Me. Go over to our new store and check it out. And that's it, insiders. Good luck on the giveaway. That's all I got for you today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces. Thank you.